I have some samples of the three kinds of rocks we'll be looking for today. Igneous rock, metamorphic rock, sedimentary rock. At the end of each section, you will be able to take a mini test and see how much you remember. Oh, you're looking at a sample of an igneous rock. I love to say that. Igneous. Igneous, igneous, igneous. <laughs> Igneous. Igneous rock is named from a Latin word that means born of fire. Isn't that cool? Let's look at how igneous rocks are formed. Click next to continue. Igneous rocks are formed when melted minerals cool and solidify or become hard. When these melted minerals are under the earth's surface, they're called magma. Because magma is under the Earth's surface, insulated by the rock around it, it cools slowly, allowing crystals in it to form completely. When they're above the Earth's surface, they're called lava. Since lava cools above the Earth's surface, either in the air or in water, it cools too fast for crystals to form. The gases that would become crystals escape leaving little holes that make it look like a sponge. This also makes most rock formed from lava very light. Once these rocks cool, they take on some characteristics that make it easy for us to know that they are igneous rocks. Click next to continue. There are three types of igneous rock. Some igneous rocks are smooth and solid looking, while others have little holes in them almost like a sponge. The smooth, solid ones look like they're made of different colored crystals. That one's called gabbro. The crystals in these rocks form when the melted rock cools slowly. Gabbro is similar to granite, although granite usually has more red or pink crystals in it. The spongy looking ones are called pumice and scoria. Besides looking almost like sponges, they're usually very light in weight. These rocks were once melted too, but they cooled too quickly for crystals to form. In fact, they cooled so quickly that gases in the rock escaped, and that's what left the little holes behind. So pumice and scoria, the spongy looking ones, and gabbro, the one made up of a bunch of crystals, are the kinds of igneous rocks that we'll be looking for. If you think you're ready, click next to take a mini quiz and see how much you remember. For each of the following questions, click on the answer you think is best. Igneous means... Great job! Magma is rock that cooled... Great job! Lava is rock that cooled. Great job! Magma is easy to spot because it has... Great job! Lava is easy to spot because it has... Try again. Great job. You've remembered so much about igneous rocks. Let's learn about metamorphic rocks. Oh, you're looking at a metamorphic rock. In Latin, meta means change, and morph means form or shape. So this kind of rock is called metamorphic because it has changed forms or shapes. Let's look at how metamorphic rocks are formed. Click next to continue. This graphic shows how the change in the form of metamorphic rock happens. 
Pressure from the Earth's layers above the metamorphic rock smashes different minerals together. Heat from nearby volcanic chambers or from the core of the Earth fuse the layers together to form this new kind of rock. Pressure and heat change the form of this new rock. That's why it's called metamorphic. Click next to continue. There are two types of metamorphic rock, gneiss and schist. Gneiss is black and white or gray in color. Notice how it has crystals, kind of like igneous rocks. But these crystals are lined up to form layers or bands or stripes. Geologists call this foliated. Schist is usually redder or yellower than gneiss. It too has distinct crystals, but they are layered in the stripes and bands again, unlike igneous rocks, whose crystals are just all mixed up randomly. If you think you're ready, let's take a mini quiz. For each of the following questions, click on the answer you think is best. Metamorphic means... Great job! Metamorphic rock is formed by... Great job! Nice is a type of metamorphic rock, the color of which is... Great job! Schist is a type of metamorphic rock, the color of which is... Great job! You're doing great! We've covered igneous and metamorphic rocks. Sedimentary rocks are next on our list. Oh, you're looking at a sedimentary rock. Its name comes from the stuff that makes it up. Sediment. Sediment is the minerals that are collected up through evaporation, erosion from wind or rain, or by stuff that settles out of water like lakes or oceans. Let's look at how sedimentary rocks are formed. Click next to continue. Sedimentary rocks are formed in a number of ways. Some of it is from other kinds of rocks being broken up or crushed by things like ocean waves pounding away at coastal rock formations. Another kind of sedimentary rock is formed when minerals washed away by rivers, rain or wind, collect and form into rocks by pressure or evaporation, like in the river delta. Still other forms of sedimentary rock are created when water evaporates and the minerals are left behind like rock salt. Click next to continue.